today i am going to discuss the topic called tor correlation of signals let us start with the learning outcomes first at the end of this session students will be able to identify similarity between two signals find the autocorrelation and cross correlation of the signals these are the some of the contents start with the definition of correlation and its application types implementation of auto and cross correlation and references let us start with the definition correlation is defined as a similarity between a pair of signals basically it is used to compare two signals its application of the application of correlation is in radar system where the location of the target is measured by comparing the transmitted and reflected signals you transmit a signal from the transmitter it reaches to receiver and it hits back the signal and those two will be compared then you can identify the distance between the transmitter and receiver this is the one of the important application of this correlation there are two types of correlation one is auto correlation and second one is cross correlation let us discuss auto correlation first auto correlation of a sequence is correlation with itself the auto correlation of sequence x of n is given by rho xx of l is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity infinity x of n x of n minus l in this auto correlation you are going to get only one sequence and you need to take the time reversal of that one that means you need to take the flipped version of the sequence x of n that is called the x of n minus l let us take an example to identify or find the correlation of signal x of n is equal to 1 2 3 4 we need to write the x of n as well as a x of n minus l in the diagram shown x of n will be written in the first row and x of n minus will be written in the column in time reversal format then first element in the column will be multiplied with first element of the row and that is 4 into 1 is 4 similarly first element in the column will be multiplied with the second element in the row and 4 into 2 is 8 similarly first element in the column will be multiplied with third element in the row 4 into 3 is 12 similarly 4 into 4 will be 16 this will be continued for element present in the column that is second element 3 will be multiplied with all the elements in the present in the row similarly third element in the column will be multiplied with all the elements in the row you are going to write 2 4 6 8 8 similarly 1 that is last element in the column will be multiplied with all elements in the row that is 1 2 3 4 then combine those things and sum it up as shown in the diagram the first is single element we are going to get that is 4 second 8 and 3 will be combined 8 plus 3 is 11 similarly third group will be 12 plus 6 18 plus 2 that is 20 and next 30 and 20 11 and 4 so this will continue once if you see the result r x s of l then 30 will be the will be the central element or middle element then at 30 we are going to get the symmetrical sequence or symmetrical to the center of element of this sequence then now let us move with the cross correlation the cross correlation of a se signal and its impulse response is given by rho x y is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity infinity x of n y of n minus l where 
एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो कमा प्लस आर माइनस वन कमा प्लस आर माइनस टू एक्सेट्रा द कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ कोरिलेशन टेक्स दी फॉलोइंग स्टेप्स और वी नीड टू फॉलो दीज डिफरेंट स्टेप्स टू फाइंड द क्रॉस कोरिलेशन ऑफ द सिक्वेंस फर्स्ट वन इज अपटेन द सीक्वेंस वाई ऑफ एन माइनस एल दैट इज नथिंग बट सेकेंड सीक्वेंस एंड इट्स टाइम रिवर्सल बाई शिफ्टिंग द सीक्वेंस राइट बाय द टाइम लैक एल मल्टीप्लाई द सीक्वेंट सेकेंड विल बी मल्टीप्लाई द शिफ्टेड सीक्वेंस वाई ऑफ एन माइनस एल बाय एक्स एन एंड सम ऑल द वैल्यूज टू अपटेन रो एक्स वाई ऑफ एल थर्ड वन रिपीट स्टेप्स वन एंड टू फॉर ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ द फ्लैग वन लेट एस सी बाई टेकिंग वन एग्जाम्पल हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो एंड फाइंड द क्रॉस कोरिलेशन ऑफ द सीक्वेंस द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस वेदर द प्रोसीजर फॉर फाइंडिंग द क्रॉस कोरिलेशन इज सेम एज ऑटो कोरिलेशन पॉज फॉर अ मोमेंट एंड थिंक वेदर द प्रोसीजर विच इज यूज इन द ऑटो कोरिलेशन इज सेम एज द क्रॉस कोरिलेशन द आंसर इज यस Let us consider an example to find the cross correlation of the sequence. Given sequences are x of n is equal to one two one one, and y of n is equal to one one two one. The shifted sequence y of n is y of n minus l, that is one two one one. That is one one two one will be time reversal. You can get one two one one. Same procedure as that of Auto correlation. Write the x of n in the first row, and y of n minus one second sequence, and its time reversal will be written in the column. Then multiply the first element in the column with all the elements present in the row, and write as one, two, one, one. Similarly, second element in the column will be multiplied with the all the elements in the row. That is two, four, two, two. The third element in the column will be multiplied with all the elements present in the row at one, two, one, one. Similarly, last element in the column will be multiplied with all the elements in the row one, two, one, one. Again, group as shown in the diagram and sum it. You are going to get the cross correlation of the sequence. First element is one. Second element is two plus two four. Third element will be four plus two six. Fourth element is again six. Fifth element will be one plus one two, and last will be one. The cross correlation of the sequence is one four six six five two one. This is not symmetrical to the element present in the center of this sequence. Let us take one more example to find the cross correlation of the sequence. But interesting thing is, when I take the same sequence of uh, x of n and y of n, then you are going to get the result as same as the auto correlation sequence. Let us see here: x of n is equal to one, two, three, four, and y of n is equal to one, two, three, four. The shifted sequence of y of n is y of n minus l. Which is four, three, two, one. Then write the first sequence in the first row, and time shifted sequence y of n minus will be written in the first column. Then multiply the first element present in the column will be with all the elements in the row. You write four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Second element will be multiplied with the all the elements present in the row and Write three, six, nine, twelve, and third element will be multiplied with all the elements present in the row, so on. Then group those elements and sum it up. First will be four, and second will be eight plus three, eleven. Twelve uh, plus six, eighteen plus two, twenty. Third will be thirty. Fourth will be twelve uh, plus six, eighteen plus two, twenty. Fifth will be eleven, and last one will be. When you look this answer for cross correlation of two sequences, then interesting thing is it is symmetrical to the central element present in the output sequence.
that is 30 with respect to 30 you can see that is this is a symmetrical sequence these are the some of the references i used thank you